What is up? Whoa, can we get some focus there? What is going on everyone? Hope everyone is having an amazing day so far. It's not a workout video, we're doing another car video today. But today we're gonna to find out if my car, this car right here, a stock 2017 R8 V10 non plus is faster than a Lamborghini. Is it faster than a Lamborghini Huracan? Well, right now it's not. It's stock, it's the base model, it's not the plus. But what we're gonna do today with it, it might be faster after. And I, and I, I don't think it might, I think it will be faster after. What's gonna happen today at VF, I think this car will be faster than a Lamborghini Huracan. So my Audi will be faster than a Huracan. But before we get to getting this car faster than a Lamborghini, I'm gonna go test it. I'm gonna do a zero to 60 test with the V-Box, which is superficial, to see how fast we actually are on stock power. And then after that, we're gonna get the tune, see, see how much horsepower we've gained, see how fast the zero to 60 is after the tune, and really see how comparable this car is gonna to be to a Lamborghini Huracan. This motor, we share the same motor as the Lamborghini Huracan, it's just a little bit detuned, so. It has the same capabilities and the same, I guess, potential, but it's just not unlocked yet. So we're gonna see if we can unlock it. But before we unlock it, let's go test what this car can do stock. We're in the car now. We're about to test the car's zero to 60. We haven't gotten it tuned yet, but what we do have is the V-Box. And the V-Box is an official timer based off satellites, uh, zero to 60, zero to 100, 200, whatever. We're only doing zero to 60 right now because, I mean, it's what I wanna do. It's what I usually use on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm not going 100 miles per hour uh, on the streets. Um, and a zero to 60 benchmark is an excellent test for any supercar, sports car, car enthusiast to, to see like the performance of an acceleration of a car. So we're gonna test the stock um, zero to 60 on a 2017 Audi R8 V10 non plus. So let's do it. All right, so it's not a super cold day. It's not super hot. It's uh, 82 degrees. We got 206. We got uh, 196 for those temps right there. So with these conditions, we're gonna see what we can do. Zero to 60. All right, I had to take the V-Box off because there's too much glare. But as you guys can see right here, if the camera will focus, we got a 3.5 for a zero to 60, which is pretty good for not being super cold and uh, only having, what, 540 horsepower. So I did that a few times already. So 3.5 is the number we're gonna go with today. So 3.5 is with the, 3.5 is with the conditions, with the heat, with today being 82, with everything the, the way it's being right now. So 3.5, zero to 60 for a stock. Um, non plus R8 2017. Okay, so I've made it back. I already did the test. I ran a couple 0 to 60s, and both times I got a 3.5. So, with the conditions, with it being 82 degrees, with everything the way it is, I think that's pretty good because Motor Trend, I think, tested it with perfect, perfect conditions at a 3.3. So, I'll take the 3.5 today. Um, but this is Nick. Hi. At VF Engineering. Today, we're having the blue R8 with Nick, and Nick is the professional. Nick is, uh, you're the owner of VF, right? That's right. And you've been tuning cars for how long? 25 years. 25 years, so he knows what he's doing when it comes to tuning cars, and that's why I'm here today with the R8 to potentially, potentially, make this R8, which is a base, not even a plus, a base 2017 R8, maybe potentially make it faster than a Lamborghini Huracan. So, I guess walk through you know, a few minutes of what these people want to know, of what goes into tuning a car, and how, come, how can we make an extra 60 horsepower? Like, where is it coming from? Well, 
The car itself is managed by the ECU, that's the computer, the cool. electronic control unit. Okay. And that contains data tables which control how much power the engine's going to make. So it's called torque request, okay. based on the driver's pedal input from the accelerator pedal. Sweet. Now, Audi have made a couple of different versions of the RA V10, and yes. you have the non-plus, the yes. RA V10. But it's the same motor, right? It is the same engine. Okay. It's designed to have the same effect. The end goal is to create 610 horsepower with okay. the plus model, okay. and they've detuned it for the non-plus yeah. just to create some marketing differentiation, 100%, yeah. some different um, aesthetics yeah. and uh, trim options. And what we'll do is we'll go into the ECU and program it with the high-performance software, uh, which we've learned from tuning these cars with supercharger systems. So I see. our experience has given us like the ability to go in and adjust the parameters, uh, such as air fuel mixtures, uh, ignition timing, torque management, and throttle control and give you, the, the driver of the car, a more enjoyable experience by adding more power. So we'll enhance all of that calibration in the software and we'll reprogram it back into the ECUs okay. and you will experience as a driver more power. Sweet. Sounds uh, a little complicated but simple at the same time. Um, you said it only takes what, like the first time, like 25, 30 minutes? Yes, day? so there's two computers in the car, one for bank one and bank two, and we program each one. Okay. It's approximately 12 minutes a side. Oh, sweet, okay. So we're gonna get the car tuned up and then I'm gonna get back on the road and do another V-Box 0 to 60 test and we're gonna see like real life numbers with real life conditions today, not like perfect conditions, seeing what kind of gains we make on the V-Box. So, um, yeah, let's get started and I'm excited. Looking forward to it. Sweet. Another thing I want to add is like, obviously you guys, a lot of you guys watch me for, yeah, car stuff, but workout stuff too. And I think it's so cool because I've been into cars longer than I've been into working out, but they hold, I guess, the same value in my life. So I, I love working out as much as I like cars. And what this car to me is today with like the tuning and like making it better, making it stronger, making it faster is almost like me going to the gym or you guys going to the gym or anyone that works out whether it's you're a marathon runner or you're a football athlete or you just like to lift weights you're going into something trying to make it better trying to perform better trying to gain strength power or whatever so it's like essentially i'm bringing my car to the gym today to make some gains on the dyno and then some gains on the v-box and some gains on the zero to 60. so i'm excited and uh, i just wanted to add that because i just thought of that right now and um i think it's a uh, it's a cool thing because you know, in life you want to make improvements in any area that you can and as long as you are an enthusiast in that area and you want to like grow with it and make it a part of your life then you can. So this is just another part of my life and we're making the R8 better today. Okay so the car, still stock, we're, it's on the dyno now so we're going to see what kind of wheel horsepower, not crank horsepower, wheel horsepower my 2017 stock R8 makes to the wheels. So we'll see the numbers from this machine here. And what, what kind of dyno is this? It's a Mustang MD500 four wheel drive. Okay, sweet. So it's a Mustang dyno, which they're pretty accurate, right? Mustang dynos are Yeah, they like, replicate a load very similar to what they feel on the street. Okay, sweet, perfect. So got it on the dyno, we're gonna see what kind of numbers it puts up and then we'll try it again after, after the tune. Bars there, what does that mean? Right, this diagonal line is the horsepower measured at all four wheels. Okay. And the horizontal is the torque measured at all four wheels. Okay. And we can see that the car made peak horsepower at 7,400 RPM approximately, and it was 454 horsepower per wheel. Okay. And torque, you can also see peak torque is uh, approximately 340 pounds at all four wheels. Uh, and you're hitting Okay, so now the dyno 
tune is done on the stock setup. We're gonna now tune the computer and, or not tune the computer, we're gonna tune the car now with the computer and Nick is gonna walk us through the process. Right, so what we've done is plugged in the programming cable you get when you buy our tune cool. into the USB port and to the car. Okay. Just under the dash is a diagnostic port known as the OB2 port. Cool. And it's uh, on all cars, you just plug it in there. Okay. And you run the app off our website. So obviously I'm here today and I'm obviously getting a dyno tune, so it's awesome. Thank you guys for that. Mm -hmm. um, but if, I'm, if I wasn't in the LA area, is there any way that people can buy this and like kind of plug and play type yes. of thing? Yes, the tool and the tune was designed to be shipped to an end user, to an enthusiast. So okay. they could program it at their home, uh, plus plug in the laptop to the car and we email them the tune and the stock file. Sweet. And then they can program between either at their own will. And this is for, do you guys have tunes like this for other cars as well, not just the, the V10s? Yes, we have it for a range of Audis, okay. uh, a range of Porsches and Lamborghinis. Sweet. And they're all programmable by the user, by the enthusiast at home, uh, just by using the laptop and the cable we provide. Sweet, awesome. Thank you so much. So you guys heard it. If you're not in the area, you're not in the LA and the Heim area, it took me about an hour and a half, so I'm like, I'm gonna make the trip. We're gonna get it on the dyno, we're gonna run some numbers, gonna shoot a cool video for you guys. Um, but if you're not in the area, you could, easily get this online shipped and then you can do this yourself because you're not like you're not putting a new motor in you're not even changing tires you're literally just plugging something in uh, and following their professional directions all right so the car is all tuned now right tuned, tuned and this is going to be the first dyno pull with the tune correct all right so we're going to see what kind of numbers the vf tune does to the audi Okay, so the tune is done. The car is coming off the dyno soon. Um, it's dynoed with the tune, so we're gonna see the numbers now and see how big of an increase we have here. So, so we can see, what are we looking at? Right, so here we can see the horsepower before and after from blue to red. Cool, um, so blue's before. Exactly. All right, awesome. Yeah. So the diagonal line is the horsepower, the horizontal, the horizontal line is the torque. Okay. Um, being an extremely warm day today. Yeah, uh, it's like 85, right? At least, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, and inside it's- Probably 90, it's 95, yeah. Circulation is limited, so um, on the street you'll actually feel a much greater variation, but on the dyno today in cool. today's conditions, uh, we've measured power at the wheels, typically gaining everywhere, but mostly in the 5,500 RPM range and upwards. Okay. Uh, it's gained between 35 and 55 horsepower at all four wheels. Okay. And between uh, 25 and 45 pounds of torque okay. at all four wheels. So, as you were saying, your driving style is very sort of, you, you like to drive through the rev range. Yeah. You're going to really you know, feel a lot of that okay, sweet. in the top half. Sweet. So, that's wheel, wheel to the wheels, right? Correct. To the crank, what are we looking at? So approximately 50 horsepower of the wheels gain okay. is uh, in the region of around about 62, 63 horsepower of the flywheel. Okay. And the uh, approximate 40 pounds of torque gain is uh, around about 48, 50 pounds of torque at the, at the flywheel. So in theory, I should be around 630. Yes on like these conditions. 630 horse at the crank. Okay, 630 horse at the crank. And the Lamborghini Huracan is what, 610? Correct. So in theory, we should be able to be competitive if not, you know, just by a hair, maybe, be the Lamborghini Huracan. Maybe, maybe you're gonna find out. Maybe we'll find out one day. Yeah. Okay, sweet. So we're gonna take the car off the dyno now. We're gonna take it onto the road and then um, we're gonna get the V-Bax box on and then do a, a zero to 60 pull and see how much time we have dropped like digitally all right so we are back in the car now the car is tuned we're up 55 wheel horsepower about 80 85 crank horsepower we have the v box set up right there ready to go so we're going to do some zero to 60 times again to see how much time we have shaved off in the zero to 60. so let's go okay so we're back on the streets now but given the circumstances we are not ideal right now it is 
91 degrees so it's a good almost 10 degrees hotter than it was before the engine temp is up oil temp is up so we'll see what we can get off of the conditions we have now so it's not gonna be the perfect perfect but we're gonna see what we can do okay that time I got a 3.3 that's the first run you can't really see it can you see 3.3 we're gonna try it again uh, and see what we get okay so second time around second run after the tune still ran a 3.3 on the v-box um I t it it showed off or it, it cleared itself before i could show you guys but it was a 3.3 again which is 0.2 seconds faster than i had before on the stock setup um which is really good because it's 10 degrees hotter the engine's hotter the oil temp's hotter everything's hotter so the id the the can the conditions are not ideal at all, but we still make gains. So I'm very, very happy with that. I am curious to see what it's gonna run when like, when I drive the car at night. So like when it's maybe 60 degrees or 50 degrees, I really think I'll be able to run like a three, a low three second. So we'll see, maybe like a three one, maybe a three flat, maybe under three, we'll see with perfect conditions. So I guess we'll just have to wait. All right, so I'm back in the shop now. I'm thoroughly impressed even though you guys might think 0.2 seconds is not a lot a lot of time but it is a lot of time Th considering like 0.2 seconds to cover distance is like i mean it's astronomical right yeah it takes a certain amount of horsepower to overcome aerodynamic resistance for sure and zero to 60 0.2 seconds roughly equates when you calculate it to 50 to 60 horsepower yeah so i i mean i was telling them before the yeah. it was uh the first time i did it was like 80 81 82 yeah right now it's 91 91 92 yeah so it's 10 degrees hotter the oil temp is hotter the engine temp is hotter so it's not like it's not super ideal that's right but, but you're, gonna, still, you're gonna have so much fun with I it i still had more fun so yeah. i'm yeah. happy overall i told them uh, already like even if it was 100 degrees more and i still made gains like the enjoyment factor for me having this on my car now is that much more this is just first of many things I'm gonna do with the car. So as the car progresses, I wanna keep sharing it with you guys. You guys can share it, so it'll Thanks. be like a community. Thing, you know? Right, well we've had a lot of fun hanging out with you, Kevin. Yeah, it was an amazing day. Um, if you guys need anything, tuning cars, anything, a supercharger for a V10 or even M4s, M4s M5s, M5s, yeah. really anything for your car, make sure to check out BF Engineering. Even if you're out of state, even if you can't bring the car and put it on this dyno, um, hit them up and ask them whatever you guys need to ask them to, to see if they can get some gains for your car. So it was Thank a pleasure you. meeting you, man. Pleasure. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah.